All right, welcome back. This is chapter six, lesson five. Uh, I'm talking about more two-step equations, right? So two-step equations, but dealing with different stuff than we've done before. Um, there's two video examples that are from the math antics video, uh, two-step equations, the video. We watched the video in class and the two examples that he did at the end of the video were um, what I put in the notes. So these are the ones from the video. So it says video example. So let's start with this. I have two times parentheses x plus two equals eight. Oh, by the way, this should be, I believe on page, page 58, page 58, okay? So here we go. Let's zoom in here. Um, I got two times the quantity x plus two equals eight. Um, and the way he did it is it's multiplying two times the x plus two. Um, and you're gonna do the order of operations uh, in reverse, right? So you're gonna go in reverse. So we're gonna do multiplication before we do groups, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide and divide, and we're going to divide by 2 because it's multiplying by 2. We do the opposite. If this is a multiplication right here, then we're going to do division, which is the opposite. So these are going to cancel out and become 1. So on that side, that's just going to leave me x plus 2, right? x plus 2, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay, so I have x plus 2 equals 4. Well, that's easy from now on. That's just, that's an addition. So we're going to subtract 2 to get x by itself. If I do it to one side, do it to the other side, I'm going to get x plus, uh, subtract 2. Uh, this becomes 0 because 2 and negative 2 are 0 pair. That's going to give me x by itself, and 4 minus 2 is 2. Now, you can also check your answers. So if I plug this back in and plug in 2, right, it's going to be 2 times the parentheses. Here's the, the new answer right here. This one was the answer. So 2 times parentheses 2 plus 2 equals 8. Well, it works out because when you take 2 plus 2 inside parentheses, you do the parentheses first, or of operations, you get 4. 2 times 4 is 8, so 8 equals 8. It checks out, so a little check mark. All right, so that's the one from the video. Here's the other one from the video. In this case, it's the it, you've got a division problem, right, because it's dividing by 2. So how, what undoes division? Multiplication. So we're going to multiply by 2. The 2 and the 2 will cross cancel and cancel out and become one whole, leaving us just x minus 1. But if I do it to one side, I have to multiply by 2 to the other side. So I'm going to multiply by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So I get x minus 1 equals 8. That's easy. We're just going to add 1 to get x by itself. Do the inverse operation. Add 1. Add 1 to the other side. It's going to give me, this becomes a zero pair, it becomes zero, and I get x equals nine. Check your answer. Here we go. If I plug it back in, it's going to be, let's do this again. If I plug it back in, well, I did it all together. Nine minus one over two, which is eight over two. So nine minus one over two, it's going to give me eight over two. Eight over two is four. So four equals four. Nice job. All right. So let's do some more examples here, okay? Sounds good to me. Um, all right, so I have three times x plus two equals negative 12. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the opposite. It's a multiplication, multiplication. So we're gonna divide. We're gonna divide by three. If I divide by three on one side, I'm gonna divide by three on the other side. These two are gonna become one, okay? And that's gonna give me just x plus two on uh, one side. Equal sign comes down. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. And so when I do these, okay, uh, I'm going to subtract 2 on this side. That's going to give me a 0 pair. It's going to give me x. On the other one, I'm going to subtract 2. Well, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. So my answer is x equals negative 6. Okay, I'm not going to check that one, but we're going to move on. All right, let's see where we're at. Let's look at A. Um, this one is just like the last one. We're going to be multiplying by 2. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. We're going to divide by 2. So divide, divide by 2. Divide by 2, okay? These are going to cancel out, just like before. So they're going to become a 1. That's going to leave me x plus 4 all by itself. 20, I have to divide by 2 on the other side, because if I do it to one side, I do it to the other side. Also, don't forget your uh, scale line. 
All right, 20 divided by 2 is 10. So now I have x plus 4 equals 10. I'm going to subtract 4 and then subtract 4 to the other side. It's going to give me x by itself because these two become a 0. And 10 minus 4 is 6. Okay, let's move over. Keep on tracking. Again, we're going to divide by 3. Divide by 3 to get 3 by itself. 3 divided by 3 is going to give me 1 whole, so that's going to give me b minus 6 all by itself. 12 by, divided by 3 is 4. Simple from here, we're going to add 6, add 6, b equals 10. All right, and this last one over here, we're going to, um, okay, we're going to divide because it's, divi it's multiplying. It's multiplying by negative 7, so we're going to divide by negative 7. If I do it to one side, I'm going to do it to the other side. Negative 7 divided by, we're going to divide. Negative 7 divided by negative 7 becomes one whole. So that gives me 6 plus D equals, well now, 49 divided by negative 7 is negative 7. Okay, so uh, I'm going to subtract 6. Why? Because I want to get D by itself. Well, how do I get rid of positive 6? Subtract 6, take it away. So if I subtract 6 on one side, I'm going to subtract 6 on the other side. Negative 7 minus 6 is, give, well, this is going to give me 0 right here. 6 minus 6 is giving me 0. That's going to give me D right here. And then it's negative 7 minus, thir minus 6, you might think it's 1, but it's not. It's negative 13, remember? Negative 13. Okay, let's keep on going. We're tracking along. Now we've got some different ones. Okay, now we've got a fraction. So let's look at here. I got two thirds times n plus six equals ten. This is multiplication. Now, normally with multiplication, you want to divide and do the inverse oper inverse operation. However, to divide fractions, right? To divide fractions, you keep change flip. Keep. Let's do this again. We're going to keep change flip. So it's going to be times the reciprocal. You're going to flip it up and down. The reciprocal of 3 over 2, 2 over 3, is 3 over 2. We're going to keep, change, flip, K, C, F, right? Well, we're not going to keep anything. We're going to keep the two-thirds the same. This is the keep right here, keep. The change is the multiplication, and the reciprocal, the flip, is the reciprocal right there, okay? So keep, change, flip. It just happens to be in reverse. So we're going to multiply. Well, when you do that, these... 2, the 3 and the 3 become, they cross cancel and become 1. The 2 and the 2 become cross cancel and become 1. Um, that's going to give me just n by itself, so it's going to give me n plus 6. If I do it to one side, though, I'm going to multiply by 3 over 2 to the other side, and I'm going to make 10 a fraction over 1. The 2 and the 10 cross cancel, so that becomes 1 and 5. 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 10 five times. It's going to give me 15 over 1. Okay, so 15 over 1 is 15. 15 over 1 is 15. All right, from here, super easy. We're going to subtract 6 to get n by itself. These become a 0 pair. Subtract 6 on the other side. That's going to give me 9. So n equals 9. All right, so we're, almost get, we're getting there. So that's how we do it. You're going to multiply by the reciprocal. All right, over here, I have a decimal times, so I want to divide. It's, it is a multiplication. And we're going to divide. Now, it's not a fraction, so you're not going to need to multiply by the reciprocal. You're just going to need to divide by 0 0.2. It's a decimal. If I do it to one side, I'm going to do it to the other side. So that's going to, these two are going to become a zero pair, not a zero pair. They become one whole because 0.2 divided by 0.2 is 1. So that's going to give me C minus 3 all by itself on one side. And on the other side, I think it's going to give me, yep, negative 50. A negative divided by a positive is a negative magic triangle. Negative divided by a positive, cover what you have, and you're left with a negative. So it's negative 50. We're going to add 3 because it's subtracting 3. We're going to add 3 to the other side. Negative 50 and positive 3 don't get along. It's going to give me C. These are going to be a 0 pair. 50 plus negative 50 plus positive 3 is negative 47 because the 50 wins. Okay? All right, doing great. We have three more to go, and we'll be done. All right, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal here because it's, it's a multiplication, and we would normally want to divide, but you can't divide fractions. You have to keep, change, flip, okay? So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. It's going to be 4 over 1 instead of 1 over 4. If I do it to one side, do it to the other side. Don't forget your scale line, okay, right there. 
If I do it to one side, I'm going to do it to the other side. These fours cross cancel gives me 1, 1, 1 all by itself. So that's going to give me D minus 3 all by itself. Um, 15 as a fraction is 15 over 1. So um, that's going to give me negative 60. All right. Subtract. I am subtracting 3. It's subtraction, so I'm going to add 3. If I add 3 to one side, I'm going to add 3 to the other side. They don't get along. The negative 60 wins by negative 57, so D equals negative 57. One more. We're going to skip F for now. Actually, I like F, but it's all right. Scale line. Let's do the scale line. All right. We are going to divide by 0 0.5, 0 0.75. If I do it to the other side, I'm going to do it to, to one side. I'm going to do it to the other side. This right here, these two are going to give me one whole, so it's going to give me 6 plus D. To get rid of the D, to get rid of the 6 and leave the D by itself, we're going to subtract 6. They become a zero pair. Subtract 6 to one side, subtract 6 to the other side. It's going to give me D equals 10. Okay, And last one. Now, this is 5 ninths on this side right here. Here's 5 ninths. But we can still multiply by the reciprocal and even do it on the other side. So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, 9 fifths. Okay, right there. So the 9 and the 9 cross cancel and become 1. The 5 and the 5 cross cancel and become 1. So they all become 1, it leaves me just t plus 3. Now, if I do it on one side though, I have to multiply by 9 over 5 on the other side. 40 over 1, the 5 and the 40 cross cancel. 5 goes into 48 times, 5 goes into 5 one time. It's going to give me 72 over 1, which is 72. All right, subtract 3, subtract 3, it's going to give you 69. T equals 69. Thanks. Have a great rest of your day. Hope you liked it. You can go back and pause. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.